Hello everyone, it is Lucy here and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we are doing another Kaz family video. Uh, this family is just roommates. Uh, so what happened is that uh, there is a um, owner of the house that they live in and she just is really struggling for money. You'll meet her in a second, but she's just really struggling to keep her business afloat because she is a daycare provider. And so she put this ad out in the paper and uh, Curtis, which you are seeing right now, he is answered the ad and he is now living with her. He is a, um, you know, he just got out of the military. He really is into landscaping and creating beautiful landscapes um, around people's homes. He's really trying to build his business up. Uh, so right now he's in the gardening career and he's just really trying to build that up and then be able to like go to other people's houses and just redo their landscaping for them. And the owner of the house, which you'll meet, like I said, in a second, um, she is a daycare provider. And so she runs a daycare out of her home. So she has an age range of like in infants to children and that way there she can kind of you know build up that business as well and he is trying to build up his business so they have something in common and I just really hope that they're like super close friends I don't really see a romantic relationship with the two of them but what I do see is just a really close friendship and um you know she's helping him and uh, like building up his business by you know providing him a place that he can like sleep and and um, be and then she uh, in turn is like having help from him as well because his rent money is is helping her fund her daycare so uh, just really really good team there and like I said I just really want them to be really good friends and she uh, has a pretty good sized house she inherited it uh, from her family and so she's just running her daycare out of her home. Uh, she did build a separate area for her daycare to be, you know, ran out of because she just really didn't want all of the kids just through her house all day long. And then it's like she doesn't leave her home, so she doesn't uh, get out or anything like that. But whereas she has her daycare in the back of her house, she can kind of like go into the back of her house, go to a separate area. It's like she's going to work every morning, even though she still kind of technically works out of her home. It's not in her home so she does leave and like you know go into the back and um of our house and that's where her daycare is i am actually currently building their home right now so i want to release that soon uh i don't know right now it's kind of turning into a bigger house than what i thought i was just gonna have like a smaller house and then have her daycare in the back but it's actually turning into quite a big house uh so we'll see i may have to scale it down a bit uh just because i wanted to meet the needs because i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to set it up as just being roommates um and i don't really know how to do that because he didn't really it's not like technically the roommates in the sims where you you know put the ad out and then you're not playing with that sim uh you know i i'm able to play with uh him as well because he's just in the household uh so but i don't know we'll just i'm just gonna pretend that way um i actually really want to play this family on my own just because i really want to try running a daycare out of the house i think what i would do is like just put a bunch of families that have toddlers and um, children and infants in the neighborhood. And then maybe she would just take on like five kids because uh, there you can only have eight Sims in one household. And then that way there I can kind of close off her house to the children and, and all of that. And she can't really go into her house, but she can just like hang out in the daycare center. As far as the daycare center, it's just going to have little napping areas, you know, bathrooms, uh, you know, um, little potties for the toddlers so that they can learn how to potty train, things like that. I really want to build like a nice like picnic area for them. So if they like go outside, they have an area where they can kind of hang out. Uh, in The Sims, my favorite season to play in is summer. So that's what I really love playing in because I just feel like my Sims are always outside they're always doing something outside so I really want to create a really nice summer picnic area for them to just like hang out in and have a good time as well um, so I'm really working on that house now it's just a really interesting concept to me and just a really interesting uh, you know way of playing the game I don't know I'm sure like a ton of people have probably already done this but it was just something I thought of uh, and I hadn't seen very many simmers doing this so I really kind of want to do that and uh, let me know if you're interested in maybe this becoming like a series on the channel if you're kind of interested in that gameplay 
or if you just kind of want to check in with this family and see how it's going i can just do little like check-in videos like i could do with the planet zoo um park that i have uh just kind of little check-ins every now and then and then getting new animals and things like that i think it could be kind of like that where you just kind of check in with the family see how they're doing it's more of like a vanilla style let's play because we're just going to start from basically nothing and build the businesses up um and I think I'm just going to kind of create my own businesses and she just gets money. I'll just add money to her family funds every so often for her daycare. But that's what I'm envisioning. So if you guys want to see any of that, just please let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to end the talking portion right here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I will talk to you all very soon.